Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to do something that people say that they're going to do many many times in their lives. Many YouTubers say it etc etc but this time this is for real. I am going to change the way that you do SEO forever. In this video I'm going to give you something that I've been working on for over six years and I'm going to give you it completely for free. I'm going to explain how to use it and this is going to save you hundreds of hours overall. Let's get into this video where I'm going to give you an automatic internal linking script which can be run on Google Documents and save yourselves an absolute metric ton of time. Let's get into it. So 99% of people who have something like this are going to try and sell it, okay? I'm not even going to give you an email sign up. There's no sign up. There's no catch, nothing. I'm just going to give you the script and I'm going to show you how to use it. But before we get into that, let's quickly talk about what are internal links and why are they important? So this is what an internal link looks like. As you can see, there are certain hyperlinks in this um, post that I made. And you can see that each one has a hyperlink in it. But what does that actually mean? So if I go over this image here that says slacks, you can see that it's leading to the pants collection on the website that I work for. Why would I put something that says slacks, which goes to pants? The reason is that in America, dress pants are often known as slacks and slacks actually has a much higher search rate than pants. Okay. But logically speaking, this page should be called pants because they're dress pants and not slacks because not everyone knows what slacks are. So what I can do with an internal link is I can give SEO for the keyword slacks to the page pants. Okay. That's the first thing that an internal link is good for. The second thing that they're good for is you have to think of it from the perspective of Google. An internal link is like a reference point. It's like when you write a, an essay for university or for school or whatever, and you put a little footnote and you tell people where you got that information from. It's kind of like that. The, the basic use of an internal link is to tell people where they can get more information about something on your website. However, that's what they're supposed to be for. But what they actually do is much more important. And it's the reason that I'm making this video. It's the reason that I've spent so long trying to discover how to do what I'm about to show you how to do. Before I show you, I want to talk a little bit more about the importance of internal links. There is a huge difference in, for example, this blog post ranking without any internal links and this blog post ranking and giving power to the rest of my pages. Okay. So let me give you an amazing example of this. This is without a doubt, one of the most important pages on my website. Okay. This is page number one. I really need people to find this page here. But if it was just the category or the collection with images, et cetera, et cetera, and that's it and a little bit of text, there's not going to be a high chance that Google is going to say, yes, okay, this is a good, important page on your website and therefore I'm going to rank it. Okay. You have to always be thinking from the perspective of Google. So what can we do to change or to control this? What we can do is we can use internal links from our blog posts to our important pages. Okay. So let's go on this blog post I wrote yesterday and you can see there's an internal link here to Cesare Tolini, internal link to Kitom, internal link to KPNT, Marco Pescarolo, et cetera, et cetera, Santoni, designer sneakers. All of these things are the reason that I'm even writing blog posts in the first place. This is something that people don't fully understand. They think that the point of a blog post is to rank the blog post just for ranking's sake. But it's not. The point of a blog post is to give power to the more important pages on your website. The more internal links that this kit on page has, the, the better it will rank on Google. Okay. What I try and teach or what I've been trying to teach in my last kind of five or six videos 
is that you can build topical authority by writing blogs, but it's pointless if you don't then have internal links, okay? That's the importance of internal links. But now let's talk about how to actually make an internal link. There is the traditional way and there is the new way, which I'm gonna show you. So let's say Italian menswear brand is a really good keyword for me. Normally what I do is I highlight, I press Control K, and you either, you either write the link or you can just copy and paste the link like this. And let's say I want it to go to my homepage and then you just hit enter. That might not, might not seem that long, but you have to realize that you have to read your text again. You have to find the right keywords. You have to find the link. Okay, let's say I wanna to go to boots. So I have to find this. Uh, let's say it's not on my navigation. How do I find the link? It's just annoying, okay? But there is a better way that I have discovered with the help of a good friend of mine. So first things first, credit where credit is due. In the description, there is a copy or a, um, a link to this document here. It's called Auto Keyword Filler. First of all, credit where credit's due, Article Fiesta. Thank you so much for doing this uh, script for everybody. This is a interesting way to create content uh, that has photos, etc., etc. They even give you a free article or two free articles without a credit card. So if you want to give it a try, guys, give it a try. This is not a sponsored video. It's just they deserve the credit for giving us this script, which is why I'm shouting them out now. Okay, there is a link in the description. It's not an affiliate link, but feel free to check out Article Fiesta and thank you so much for creating this. In the description, there is a link to this document. All you need to do is click on file, make a copy. You'll see here, app scripts, files, and functionality will also be copied. That's exactly what we want. So you click make a copy, and then what we do is we're gonna get some uh, random text from one of the articles that I've already written. So I've, what, all you need to do is you do control A and you delete everything on this page, okay? And then you can control V and post your text here. I did it without um, the formatting because some of them had hyperlinks, etc., etc. This is the first stage. The second stage is we need to make a Google Sheet, okay? This might seem complicated, but once you get used to this, guys, this is going to save you thousands of hours, okay? So I do recommend watching this video and continuing to pay attention because this will change the way you do SEO. Let's just find the spreadsheet that I've got. I will also show you how to make this spreadsheet just because I don't want people getting confused. But this is what the spreadsheet looks like, okay? Something like this. In column A, there are keywords. In column B, there are links. The way that I made this is I made this using Ahrefs by exporting my keyword information. The other way that you can do this is Search Console. We will talk about that in a second. But for now, let's actually just run the script. So all you need to do is you need to copy this like number here. So after the D and before the edit, there is a really long number. All we're gonna do is we're gonna go back in here. We're gonna click on Extensions and App Scripts. This will take us to the script directly. And we're just going to see where it says, this is the ID of the sheet with your keywords. You just wanna highlight this and hit Control V, okay? And then hit Save and then hit Run. This is then gonna do the same thing that we, I showed you in a, like a few videos ago. You have to give it permission to run on your uh, project. So review permissions, log in to your account, advanced, uh, and then go to add blah, blah, blah. So click at the bottom and click allow like this. This will now run. And then if I click on here, there should be links. Yes. As you can see, it's now automatically added the internal links for me. It hasn't worked perfectly just because of the way that I created the, uh, this particular spreadsheet. Um, it wasn't relevant necessarily to this text here, but you can see that at the very least, it's added the hyperlinks, okay? You can now copy and paste this into your um, CMS, like Shopify or WordPress, and you will have a fully internally linked document or blog post, okay? Let's talk a little bit about how to make these spreadsheets. There are a couple of ways. 
So the first way is to just go on your website on um, Ahrefs. Okay, this is assuming you have Ahrefs. This is assuming you already have good traffic, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Just click on export and then just do all of them and then just export them to Microsoft Excel, Open Office, doesn't really matter. And then we want to open a new Google Sheet like this. You can probably guess where this is going. I will show you how to do the other way just in case you don't have Ahrefs. Um, I don't want to leave people stuck, basically. My biggest fear in life is to leave people stuck. Uh, so let's grab this. This will then input this information into a new spreadsheet. Let's click import data automatically. Now we have the two columns and they are in order. So all you have to do is copy column A and column M like this, and then just put them in a new spreadsheet. Okay. It's that simple. You're now finished. Okay. You now have everything you need to automatically internally link for you. Let's say that you don't have um, Ahrefs or you don't have a lot of data on Ahrefs, which is quite common for new websites. What we're going to have to do instead is we're going to have to use Search Console to get our information. I don't have a fully automated process for this yet, but basically what you do is you click on Page, you sort by impressions, you click on a page, let's say you want to rank this one here, the 11 best designer coat brands, click on here, click on queries, sort by impressions, just grab the first 10 like this, I'm just going to show you very, very quickly how to do this, paste it like that, grab the first 10 like this and put it in column A, and then we just need the URL, so we'll just grab it like this, put it down here. You can drag it if you want, but because there's a 2023 in this one, it won't actually work. Okay, so there you go. Perfect. That's how you do it manually if you do not have Ahrefs with keyword data or whatever it might be. This will now work in the same way. It will only do one link per URL. Thank you very much to Article Fiesta for doing that for us. And yeah, this will literally save me thousands of hours over the process of creating content for a website. You can do this in other ways. You can use uh, Link Whisperer if you're on WordPress, etc, etc. But I have never found something that works quite as well as this. This gives me full control, which I really, really like as well. And there's even an automated process of finding these keywords using Ahrefs. In the next video, I'm probably going to be talking about how to use these keywords with ChatGPT to create amazing content. I have talked about that before, but my process has changed a little bit, so I do need to talk about that again. But basically, you can prompt ChatGPT to use, let's say, the first 50 keywords, the first 100 keywords from this list by just saying, please try to use these keywords in your list. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope this helps. And I just realized I haven't been on the screen, but that's completely fine. This will save you thousands of hours. Get going, make some amazing content using ChatGPT and automatically internally, internally link using this process. Peace out.